Last Wednesday night, we brought you the very first episode of a new feature here at Como, Eric's Heroes. And tonight, we have another story celebrating the goodness of this place we live in. Well, sometimes it's just the little things in our lives that make us sit back and realize how lucky we are, right? And one of those little things happens every night, five months out of the year on a beautiful little hill, and it makes our lives just that much richer. There are three sounds that stir our souls, that make us stop to reflect and remember what it feels like to be human. The sound of taps played on a bugle. The sound of children laughing. And this. Those moments when the pipes echo wistfully through the hills of Newcastle, when everything is perfect, they are earned here. Let's do wearing of the green at this tempo. In the Issaquah <laughs> brew house. <laughs> where those who've surrendered to the siren song of the pipes gather to pay their dues. One, two. <laughs> Neil Hubbard, the man on the hill, has been playing since he was 12. This is the instrument that is played when the occasion is bigger than us. Funerals, weddings, when we most need to search our souls, only the pipes will do. The bagpipe is not an easy instrument to play. It's physically difficult, right? There's a lot of air pressure and air that's required. Um, the finger work is pretty intricate. I'm really lucky because I do this full time now, and so I get to do what I love to do full time. And so every single night, May through September, as the sun sets on this glorious corner of the world, Neil, dressed in a kilt, carries his chosen instrument of expression to that little knoll facing the clubhouse of the golf club at Newcastle. With his back to one of our most stunning vistas, he offers his gift to the world, and exquisite evenings are transformed into perfect ones. It's become a Newcastle tradition. No night here is complete without it. People stop what they're doing, they listen. Many of them come just to hear Neil. There's no other, there's nothing like it. <laughs> I think joyful. It's a happy music, I think. I feel like I'm in Scotland. <gasps> it kind of gets you in the, in, the, in, the, in the gut, yeah. yeah. And off in the distance, the echoes reach into homes and lives. For the Reader family, it is nightly ritual. I think I hear Mr. Neal. Do you hear him? Do you hear him? Do you hear him? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you're up there and you're on that hill and people are listening, you know they're listening, what are you, what are you thinking about? Gratitude. Yeah, because, I mean, look, <laughs> it's pretty basic. I'm just glad to be here. Times change and people change, and yet for some reason, we still hearken back to this ancient sound. The tradition will continue at Newcastle. Night after night, Neil will do his job, which is simply to remind us what it feels like to be human. You're my hero, buddy. Thanks, Eric. You're sounding great, man. You're sounding great. What an incredible mm. thing for him to just do time and time again. I can't imagine for people every time somebody's hearing it for the first yes. time and seeing it for the first Boom. time. Well, it is so breathtaking. Yeah. I know you've seen it, I've Steve. I've seen yeah. it. And it's it just gives, amazing. It gives you chills. It does. It really that's, does. That's why he's there, right? Yeah. Hey, we should mention that Paul Stoos and Robert McMurray were responsible for those beautiful pictures. And we want to hear about the heroes in your lives. So send us a note at this address, heroes at comotv.com.